Okay, we're ready for the cruiser competition. Super stoked. So, just one was a little too big. That was uh, Capper Wilson. Your ship was just a little too big. Everybody else is in. So, away we go. I think we don't have as quite as many comp competitors for this one as we did for the probe, or the, sorry, the uh, gunship competition. Uh, but uh, still lots of competitors. So, away we go. And starting with Saber Class Destroyer versus Bloody Bucket. Bloody Bucket. That's a good name. Oh, it's not symmetrical. Interesting. Ooh. Big guns. So those look like uh, the big, uh, what are the antimatter guns or something? And some lasers? Whoa. You just chewed them up, man. I love non-symmetrical designs. I just love that. Saber class destroyer. It looks like you had some missiles. Oh, looks like you're trying, yeah, unobtainium. I think you're trying to use obtainium. I'm not sure. Uh, sorry, dude. You got chewed up, man. But that... I, the non-symmetrical thing. I just, I don't know why I like it so much. And here we have the Rammer. Of course, the Rammer is designed, I, I was speaking to the designer of the Rammer just a little bit uh, in chat there, and uh, his ship is designed to ram, so if it doesn't do what the, the, again, this is where I think we need to have scripting for the AI, and the developer is working on that because you want to be able to say to the AI, okay, this ship is designed for ramming, right? I want to go as far away from the enemy ship as possible and then come right back and hit him as hard as I can. So, <laughs> um, although, and it doesn't even look like he's firing that fast, you know, I don't know what kind of guns those are, maybe he's, uh, those are rails or something, I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure what they are, but neat design, hit run pass, I love that circular design with the triangles, does that ever look cool, and of course, you hit like a hammer, man, look at that, well done, you just devoured him, you just devoured him, well done, totally impressed, so hit run pass, you'd probably be the best ship, I mean, able to take on a few hits from ramming anyway. And of course, you've got lots and lots and lots of engines. You might be a good competitor against a drone ship. I'd be, I'd, I'd say you're probably one of the, the better ships against a drone ship. Unfortunately, Rabber, it just, I, I the, the issue that uh, that you have is, is AI. It's, it, it's just the AI is not doing what you want it to do. I, I, I totally get your design, but, uh, <coughs> So that's it. Hit and run. Nice design. Like the ship. Awesome. Unstable sponge versus fast supporter. Oh, fast supporter is using the uh, big asteroid engine. Oh, lots of drones and lots of... So this is a Faction 1 drone ship. Interesting. Versus unstable sponge. You look like a sponge. It's out of her wild. Are those all missiles? What are those? All launchers? I think those are all launchers. Does that ever look cool? You look like a sponge. <laughs> that looks amazing it looks like see see how the ship reacts differently to those little drones than it does to uh the faction 12 ships see notice he's he, the drones are an issue so he wants to defend himself against the drones but he's it's not his top priority his top priority is to take out the enemy ship i think i hope that andrew or sorry arthur i hope arthur danskin is watching this because I would love to see the ships act in the same fashion against Faction 12 drones as it does against Faction 1 drones because look how he's still firing at the enemy. I, I think that's the big difference here where I think it's a fair fight because he's not completely stumped by the drones. Uh, even though he, he may actually be losing, he's still firing at the enemy. So you know what I mean? Like both, I, I, both of these ships are, are are good designs, but unfortunately, I think the the drones are going to win it, but not because the AI is doing what it's not supposed to do. So we know that the AI, see, and he has drones too, and it's the same. Uh, those are all drones. Is that ever cool? I, I really like I like the sponge ship. I think it looks neat. You got to give people credit for where credit is due, and with a ship like that, it doesn't look like he's launching his drones right away though. I think that's part of the problem. For some, maybe it's a power issue. I would, or maybe they're getting stuck. Maybe all those drones are actually stuck in the middle of your ship right now. I think that's what's happening. The drones are actually stuck in your ship. They can't actually get out. Oh no! That's exactly what's happening. Look, that's why it's so bright in the center of his ship. Oh no, and as soon as, as soon as it digs in a little bit, as soon as the enemy shoots at your ship a little bit and digs in, that's what all the drones are gonna get launched? I bet. I bet you that's how it's gonna happen. Neat. Oh. So just a little bit of a tweak, and I think that would fix the issue for you. Oh, neat. I, I, I just love, I love battles like this. You learn a lot about the AI in a battle like this. So, whereas 
there is better AI scripting for drones, and maybe it has to do with how much damage the drones can do. And the AI changes its tactics when it realizes that the drones can do so much more damage. So that's when it, you know, like with the other faction, when it when it changes the way it does things. Uh, whereas these drones don't do as much damage individually, but in numbers, of course, uh, they're doing enough to actually win the battle. So, but yeah, really cool. I I love the the look of the sponge. The sponge looks amazing. I give you full points for that. Unfortunately, I don't think you're going to win the battle. We'll just speed up the end here. Yeah. Good fight. Good fight. Fair fight. <laughs> Excuse me. I keep coughing in the middle of a recording. And I can't take it out because I can't stop this. Oh, I suppose I could pause it, but whatever. Pink kitten. Wow, that's very pink. Potato. You look nothing like a potato, but pink kitten definitely is pink. Well, it's more of a, more of a dark pink or a purple or even a fuchsia. I don't know. It's still pink nonetheless, I guess. I guess. Uh, I don't know. Oh, looks like... It, yeah, drones are in there. But, Potato Sword, if you could just... Oh, yes. Just turn your ship a little bit and you will... Oh, wow. He has lasers too. Interesting fight. Potato Sword. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's actually a pretty fair fight so far. I mean, they both in about the same amount of damage. But it looks like he's got uh, four of those proton beams. Whereas, pink... Oh, chewed into the gelatinous underbelly of potato sore. The squishy flesh of the potato got eaten. <laughs> ah, pink kitten is somebody to be reckoned... Reckon <sighs> Sorry, I'm about to cough again. Hold on. <coughs> this is terrible. Who coughs in the middle of a recording? I mean, really? Okay, uh, sorry, I put it out two times there. Pink kitten wins it again! Looks like Pink just has a little bit more armor than Potato Sword. Good fight, though. Good fight. Obnoxious versus Railgun. So, Railgun must... Gustav Max, I had to recognize you by name. That is Merch. Merch is the designer of his uh, ships. We've seen them all throughout all of the competitions and all of the tournaments. Um, wow! So, he was saying that he made some modifications to his ships so that they would keep range. And I tell you, wow, he's certainly keeping range. So much, in fact that you've actually outranged yourself. <laughs> I So, in the discussion I was having with him on email, oh, wow, no, you're just in range. You just, it's it's hard to aim that gun. You know, even in real life, if you were controlling that ship, it would be super hard to hit the enemy. I, I think half the battle, though, is just continually firing. And maybe you can't continually fire a gun that size. I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe it uses all the power on your ship to actually fire it. Oh, so, so he was saying via email uh, today, or well, I think he wrote the email last week sometime, but anyway, that, uh, you know, he, ch oh, he actually got, or, or it ran out of time, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, so he was saying that uh, he took off some of the defensive guns so that he would stay just at maximum range, and it looks like he's doing exactly that, except he's, he, well, he's already got the hit. He's already got that one hit, and that was enough to win the battle. Absolutely. So, Merch is the designer of all of the Gustav ships. Brilliant design. Love it. Okay, now we have HMS S Ambassador versus Thrown Together in Two Minutes. Wow, that's a lot of lasers! <coughs> wow. Um, unbelievable. Of course, I get the coughs in the middle of a recording. Uh, wow, it, wow, HMS, look at all those drones coming off. Wow, you're really slow moving, but you have a lot of firepower. Wow. Um, holy, once you get in close, you pretty much finish them. Yeah. Pretty sure that wasn't a dreadnought. Pretty sure. Pretty sure I got my P right on, on, on in this competition. Pretty sure. Because uh, that seemed to do a lot of damage. Oh, neat! Foxtrot! Oh, neat! So you you just got in there. So Barge was submitted by uh, uh, Derpy. I, I, I forget. Uh, Derpy Rich, I think. Anyway, so he was saying that his sister wanted him to enter this ship. And I said, well, maybe his sister knew something. But, well, you can tell your sister. It, it was a neat fight. It was a neat fight. All right, so now we have Black Whale versus Hand of Emrakul. So again, same designer as we've seen... Uh, the uh, Eldrazi fleet, uh, the Eldrazi fleet. Uh, so head of them, and uh, again, he's he's really good at designing ships with lots of armor on a ship. And then we have the Black Whale. I think this is a new competitor for for the game. I think it's the Flat Whale is the competitor, and the Black Whale is his ship. 
And uh, interesting, interesting. Totally new competitors. Uh, and it's a faction four, but he just, he's having trouble trying to get through all that armor. And oh man, it looks like Hand, Hand almost was able to take out his faction four juicy guns, but I think actually did take out the faction four guns. It gets in, oh no. I guess the guns were still alive. Amazing. So Hand, I, I, that, you've got enough armor, uh, maybe a, even a little bit more armor. You've got the speed. The speed's a thing here, right? Ah, uh, so close to being able to take out Faction 4 ships with your Faction 1 ship. I love it. I love it when somebody who's not Faction 4 is able to ta take out a Faction 4 ship. And I, I love... Uh, I, I really have to remember all the names. I'm getting better at the names. But I, it's, tr it's tough because, you know... <coughs> there I go again. Jeez, I, I wish I could edit out all of my coughing. I don't know why. It must be. I must have got really excited in one of the fights because then my, I get too much, uh, get too scratchy in my throat there. But Blackwell, new competitor, really nice design. It looks like you're gonna take it from Hand, Hand of Emrakul. Emra so yeah, uh, Magic the Gathering player apparently. Yeah. So good job, Blackwell. I think you've got it. It's all over. You just did way more damage. Um, but uh, he almost had you in the first fight. Almost had you. Heavy Lancer versus Kunan's 4K Tournament. Looks like both Faction 4. So we've got sort of that long design, kind of like Merch's, where you get that stream almost. And then you have Heavy Lancer, which is uh, kind of the same kind of deal, except maybe not enough point defense. He's not able to defend himself against all those drones. Those drones are just going to chew him apart. And then all, all it's going to take is one shot from that stream of death. <laughs> just going to speed it up. Oh, yeah, chewed him up. Kunan, well done. Oh, there it goes again. Took off the front end of your ship immediately, and then the drones start coming in. You just can't handle that many drones, man. And once they start doing damage, even though individually those drones do, don't do a lot of damage, those particular ones, but look at that. Just took out your, your engines, you're done. Neat designs. Very cool looking, too, both of them. Shrimp versus Xy Cruiser from Excitable or... Uh, See, I, I was just saying that I, I was able to pronounce his name, and I think it's Exciter. Exciter! Exciter's Cruiser. I like it when they include their name in the... the, the your, your individual Steam name in with. Uh, awesome. Sh wow, you totally took him out. Wow. Um, I like it. I, I, I would like it if more people did that and include your name in with your ship name. That way I can... Wow, look at the, how much damage. Those railguns, they just chew him up. Well done, shrimp. I didn't expect that. I thought I thought Exciter ship was gonna do better, but uh, Shrimp, you just got you just got crap loads of damage. <laughs> uh, drone sprayer. Uh, I believe this is Camo Five once again, but I don't know. It looks like uh, looks like that ship's doing things that maybe you don't expect, but it, you still want it. You still want it. Interesting. So there goes Camo Five. It looks like a very similar ship to the winner of the Dreadnought competition last time but uh just with a little bit of variation those those lasers really do take out those drones quickly i wonder i wonder maybe a combination of those lasers with drones yourself might actually win a battle like that i don't know but uh yeah faction 12 man faction 12 again like i said they mess up the ai all right so iconian dreas versus the singularity okay so we've seen iconian already in this competition and i think not sure if we've seen Singularity or not. This might be the first entry into this particular. I don't know if he had a, a gunship. Um, it looks like he's using. I'm not sure. What is he using? I can't even tell. Where's your weapons? <laughs> Are they all really close, short range or something? I don't know. I'm not seeing anything come out of the Singularity. Maybe it is. Uh... Oh, looks like there's missiles. There's missiles coming out. Okay, so for some reason, I couldn't see them before. Here they come now. But uh, I have a feeling, even though you're highly maneuverable, there's just enough firepower coming out of a uh, Iconian, Iconian to uh, take you out. So, yeah, I think you're going to lose this one just by points alone. Hard to say at this point. Uh, but I just don't think you're doing enough damage you did do some damage i mean what what shots you did fire i wonder if the missiles are getting stuck in your ship or something it's really weird that uh yeah you do yeah there's all the missiles you fired them all at first and then you stopped firing them 
And I don't know why. And it's an AI issue, of course, right? Uh, that's weird. Maybe the drones are messing you up and you, you won't fire at the drones or something? I don't know. Really, really bizarre. Yeah, bizarre. I, I, I apologize, Singularity, but I think you're losing by... Uh, the AI has defeated you. But uh, good job, Iconian. You know, hey, rail guns and missiles, always a good combination. All right, so now we have the final eight, I believe, with Bloody Bucket and Hit Run Past. Hit Run Past. I love that front design. And uh, Bloody Bucket, just, just an awesomely cool asymmetrical design. I'm always proud of anybody that's able to put together an asymmetrical design. But it looks like Hit Run Past just applied a little bit more damage. Enough to get through what doesn't look like you have a lot of armor there. Uh, yeah, he kind of ate you for lunch. I apologize, but I'm sure you were delicious. All right, so we got Pink Kitten back again with Fast Supporter, who surprised us all last time. Pink Kitten uh, has a lot of missiles, but for some reason, Fast Supporter was able to get in and do a lot of damage very quickly last time, and I'm not sure what it was that did so much damage. It looks like maybe he's got some plasmas in there, and he's starting to chew a little bit. Pink Kitten, of course, very solid design. Pink Kitten, the, the interesting thing, when you design a ship that's really vibrantly cardinal and cayenne, is really vibrantly colored like that it's really hard to see what you've got on your internal bits and it looks like you are actually applying enough damage to burn through fast supporters shields and now fast supporters kind of distracted by drones and other things and it looks like he's maybe on the run but he's doing enough damage to keep you keep you running you know it's, it's really anyone's fight at this point but I don't know if anybody's well fast supporters more in danger of losing actually losing yeah he just got his command center shot out pink kitten I don't know what you got in there, but it looks good. I know you've got some proton beams, and you've got some missiles, and you've got some drones. You've got a nice little combination. Looks like you've got some maybe defense guns, maybe antimatter guns. I can't tell. <laughs> I don't know. But good design. You know, there's an advantage to, like I said, that vibrant color thing, and then you can't see what the, the enemy has. Or you can't see what, the enemies can't see what you have. And it probably gives you an advantage overall, right? So, uh, Fast Supporter is applying damage, but just a little bit too much like Peanut Brittle and he's starting to fall apart. Uh, Pink Kitten's able to do enough damage to actually dig through that armor and destroy some of your internal bits, which is never good. Never good in a competition like this when you start losing parts. Yeah, so Pink Kitten, well done. You may be pink, but you're pretty and you're powerful. All right, so now we have Merch with Railgun Gustav against uh, Yolander Heavy Crowder. All right, uh, Yolander is, looks like he's got some drones happening. And of course, we know what Railgun Gustav Max is going to do. He's going to get as far away as possible and then start pelting, except he doesn't have any defense. And uh, those little defense drones, so, oh, Yolander is part of the other playable laser drone faction, which is really, really cool. I really like, oh, maybe not. Maybe he is part of faction 12. I can't tell. I can't tell. So, technically, there's Faction 12 and Faction 6. Faction 6, I believe, is the non-playable faction. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's really confusing. We, we really need to figure out names for these factions rather than just numbers, because and we, we all know what Faction 4 is. That makes sense. But uh, when it comes to the, the two laser drone factions, I, I, I guess I need to play them. I need to play them both in order to experience them and be able to commentate better on them. In the meantime, we've got the drone versus SS. Foxtrot, and I think the drone is made by Cool Rune? I'm, I think. I'm not sure. And then we have SS Foxtrot. I'm sorry, I don't know who the maker is of Foxtrot. It looks like he's got some rail guns, and he's got uh, I think that's rail guns and a, and a proton sword? I'm not sure. But it looks like he won it. Uh, the drone is coming back. He's, he's a lot of engines. You know, I love the Wow. Took it by surprise. Proton sword just kind of dug right in there and dug out his little command center. I love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. I love it when it's one-to-one, -one, you know, and then the third battle is kind of the tiebreaker. I really like it, you know. Oh, that Proton Sword just nails him hard. Wow. Well done. Well done, Foxtrot. Good fight. Very similar ships, actually, if you look at uh, the guts. The very similar ships. All right, so we've got a Faction 4 against Faction 4, and we've got drones coming in. Lots of point defense. I don't know. Anybody's game. Uh, but I have a feeling that Kunan might just take it because he's got that stream, right? And he still needs to aim, but, you know, if he just... Yes, yeah, so he does stuff like that, then it forces Blackwell to out, try to outmaneuver. But, uh, you know, if he... 
Oh, yeah, so Kunan also has point defense too as well. And it looks like Black Whale just doesn't have enough drones to be able to get in and do enough damage. Oh, oh, there it goes! Yes, that stream, like I said, that stream is a, it can be really, really effective because uh, you can just kind of turn while you're shooting and, of course, apply a whole bunch of damage. I'm just, whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, sorry, guys. Ah, what happened? Oh, got to be careful there. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. And when I do that, it turns off the sound. Oh, man. Oh, man. How do we how do we bring back the sound? Oh, no. Oh, man, we lost our sound. Uh, I'm not sure how to bring it back. Not sure how to bring it back. All right, so you're stuck listening to me. Maybe I will dub in some reassembly sounds just to make it more interesting for everybody because... Oh, we still have some basic sounds. Okay, good. Just the music's gone. Whew. So when you, when I when I hit the slash, uh, it goes to that uh, debug mode or whatever, and it uh, or command mode. Sorry, it goes to the command mode and it turns off the music. That's that stinks. All right, so we have Iconis against Drone Sprayer. Drone Sprayer is a Camo Five design. Always worry about Camo Five, and of course he's using the laser drones. He's he loves those laser drones, and for good reason because uh, they win battles, right? Yeah. Yeah, the, the laser drones are treated differently, and uh, we all know that. We all know that. I have a feeling you're going to do well in this competition. Uh, hit Run Pest. I, I like that. Oh, versus Pink Kitten. So both very solid designs. Lots of armor in both cases. So uh, looks like looks like the first run, Pink Kitten actually did more damage. I don't know if Pink Kitten is actually going to be able to do enough damage to dig through all of that armor. The way that he's got those triangular armor pieces... I, that's hard to dig through because each one of those has only so much exposed and they have a lot of hit points, each one of those individually. I don't know, it's a, it's a brilliant design, it's really good. Uh, it looks like he's lost the first, uh, the, the left side of the, uh, it's, uh, he may actually, oh, he's, he's actually getting chewed up by Pink Kitten. Pink Kitten! You know what, you may be pink, but uh, you're quite dangerous. You know, just because somebody's pink does not mean they can't do, apply a lot of damage. Gotta watch out. Good, good life lesson. Good life lesson. Appearances can be deceiving. And it's just, he's got a variety of different types of weapon types, too. I think having a variety of different weapon types also helps. And, oh, he's, he's almost done through your other front plasma gun uh, armor there. Oh, he took out that other pl front plasma gun. I think that pretty much finishes it for you, at least for this round hit and run pest. I don't think you can apply enough damage now, no matter what, without those two heavy plasma guns. I just sped it up here, and, uh, yeah, it's all over. You were applying damage. Good fight. Very good fight. Pink Kitten. Meow. Meow. <laughs> good job. All right, so we're on to the next round, and it looks like Pink Kitten is starting off by doing a lot of damage, but, hey, that doesn't mean Pink uh, Hit and Run Pest can't actually get in there and apply enough damage. Uh, oh, he actually dug in. Dug in. I don't know if he took out anything, because, like I said, Pink Kitten is very pink, and it's hard to see. He does have shields, too, as well. So... You know, maybe, maybe, maybe Hit and Run can actually apply enough damage. I don't know. He's, he's lost that first plasma. It looks like he lost the second plasma. I think that's pretty much it for him. Although he's still, the points are still pretty fair. But I think now without the second big plasma, I don't think you're going to be able to apply enough damage. And I think it's all over. Well, well done. Pink Kitten, once again, proving that gray and blue can, you know, can get beaten by a pink kitten. Meow. All right. Yolander Heavy Crowder, which is, I'm not sure... If that's faction six or faction twelve, I get confused myself. I think it's I think it's yeah it's it's the other faction. So this is the playable faction six if you're looking at the start screen, but it's faction six if you're looking at the other one. Anyway, it's it's the playable laser drone faction, and it treats the drones differently than the other one. And uh, HMS Ambassador is uh, ha is not a fast moving ship, but it looks like he has a fair amount of firepower if. If, if, if uh, he was to actually get in close to another ship, he actually does a lot of damage. Oh, he's using, he's using schmutz launchers. That's why he's playing the, uh, the same faction I am playing with my uh, nanoviruses, which is an awesome, awesome, awesome faction, except it doesn't move very fast. So that's the problem with him. And he's using my schmutz launchers. I love it. Oh, I love that. I love it. I love it. I love it. And, and he did win the first battle. So... I, I, I really, I'm really proud of you for winning the first battle, but uh, I don't think you're going to win the second against the second command competitor here. I think Yolander is going to get you just with the drones. I just don't think you're able to uh, get close enough. But uh, well, nice try, nice try. 
Uh, two, one, and it's over. You did apply some damage, but he's just too fast. Yeah, that's the thing. Just too fast. Now, if he does make a mistake in getting close, you might be able to get him with some schmutz. But uh, otherwise, I don't think you're going to be able to get him. And it looks like even these laser drones, it looks like ships get distracted with even these, these laser drones. That's unfortunate. Uh, it looks like these laser drones don't do as much damage either. It's just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. The laser drones, they just mess up the AI because he's facing the wrong direction. He should still be heading towards... And why are these? Why are his drones just sitting there? Like, I don't know. I don't understand. Yeah, definitely some AI issues here. And I'm sure it'll all get fixed. Like I said earlier, the developer is working on some of these things and uh, adding some new tournament modes too as well. So anyway, uh, I think that goes to Yolander. Well done. I like the Ambassador. I like the Schmutz Launcher. I, I, I have... It holds a secret place in my heart. Uh, so anyway, we are on to, oh, Faction 4 versus Faction 1, I believe, Proton Swords and Railguns versus Drones and Faction 4 Modular Weapons. I have a feeling this is not going to end well for you, Foxtrot. I'm, I apologize. I don't apologize. Neither does he. Uh, you have a good design, but uh, unfortunately, Faction 4 might just get you here. The drones and everything else, it's just too much. Too much! And... Uh, but you know what? I'm surprised that you haven't actually been taken out. You, you, you're very resilient, uh, if nothing else. But I think your armor's starting to go now. I think... Oh, juicy bits! Oh! <laughs> All you are is one big proton sword now. There's not much left except for some guns in the center there. Oh! Beautiful shot from Kunan. Oh! I Very pretty ship too, Kunan. Uh, very pretty. I, I really like the color scheme. The blue and orange. Blue and orange, I believe, when I was a kid, when I was in art class, they said blue and orange works well together. And uh, I'm not very good at color schemes, uh, but good color scheme, good color scheme. Uh, Foxtrot, ah, one more hit. Oh, it's a good design, but uh, it's just, I guess, against this caliber of Faction 4, yeah, it's just not going to do it. Good job, Kunan. And nice try, Foxtrot. You want a battle? You want a battle? So, you know, well done couple battles actually and drone sprayer against shrimp shrimp surprised me last time shrimp is all shields and he's, he's darn it he's fighting the drones and we've ah, it's, it's really unfortunate it's really unfortunate because i think if shrimp rushed drone sprayer uh camel five even you would admit that uh, you might be in trouble uh and uh it looks like it looks like it's all over yeah we'll just speed that up yeah well done uh Ah, it's too bad. It's too bad. But, I, you know, Camel 5, I, I hand it to you. My ha hat's off to you, sir. You're using using the tools available to you to win these battles. And, uh, you know, it would be interesting to see a ship of that caliber against yours. And, you know, even Yolander here might do really well against that ship, just to see, you know, how the AI reacts. I don't know what kind of point defense Yolander has, but... Uh, Pink Kitten is getting distracted by the dr laser drones as well. And so laser drones, what, what, they, like, they're, they're all little, little Jedis and little, little fighter ships saying, you know, distracting, distracting this main battleship, you know, it's, it's weird. So I think Pink Kitten, you're going to go down from laser drones as well. Laser drones are the nemesis. So whether it's a playable faction or the non-playable faction, the laser drones are messing people up. Yeah, so, I, unfortunately, I, I'm i sad to say that the Pink Kitten is going to be leaving the competition uh, probably here, and uh, it's too bad, because I would have loved to see the Pink Kitten move further. But Yolander, well done. Drones win the day. Unfortunately, laser drones are treated differently than other drones in this competition. Oh, well. Okay, so, round two, I think we know where this is headed. Yeah, I apologize, Pink Kitten, but, I, you know, stay tuned and keep your ship designs because as they make modifications to the AI, we may see some different results in some of these battles. So hang on to your ships. You never know. You never know. Uh, it may change uh, over time. And I think my next my next tournament is probably going to be two weeks from now instead of uh, next week, uh, just because these are a lot of work. <laughs> and uh, it's, I love putting it together, but, uh, you know... Oh, that was a beautiful shot. Could it be that the drone sprayer is going to go down from a Faction 4 ship? Faction 4. <gasps> wow. Wow. Camel 5. You got hit hard by Kunin. But I think... 
I, I have a feeling that Camel 5 may actually win this because now that... See, even... Ah, Kunin's drones are too distracted by the laser drones now. And... Ah, man. That's too bad. I'm going to speed it up just a little bit, but you may still win this, Kunin. You may have done enough damage now that you may actually win this. I And if so, I, I'm pretty impressed. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, except those drones are just starting to close in. Oh, maybe you got it. Maybe you got it, man. Drone Spare did manage to do... S I'm sorry, I'm rooting for the, for the uh, underdog here. Uh, oh, wow. Beautiful shot. Kunin, Kunin takes another shot. I love it. I absolutely love it. <sighs> Remember when we used to think that Faction 4 was overpowered? Remember? Remember that time? <gasps> well done! Oh, you took out half of his ship! <gasps> that was brilliant! But he still has a couple of those drone launchers. Can he? Oh, you did 6,933 points of damage! Well done! I think you've got it. You were going to steal this from Camo. And again, prove us all wrong when it comes to things being overpowered. We know that the, the laser drones are overpowered. We do know that. But Faction 4, I tell you, Faction 4 still has it. And more importantly, it is your ship design, Kunin, that is, is beating it. Because we've seen some Faction 4 ships go down with Drone Spare already. So it is, it is ship design. It's all about ship design. Well done, Kunin. All right, you landers. So we've got some more laser drones against Kunin's 4K Tournament Peter. Uh, here we go. Uh, looks like the laser drones. No way! No way! Unbelievable! You lander is gonna steal this! Are you kidding? Or not? I don't know! This is so hard to say! It's, it's too bad we don't have any sound right now. I don't know why the sound's cutting in and out. I, I think it has something to do with uh, me hitting that uh, button, but uh, it's really unfortunate, because I would have loved to have some sound here. Ah! Oh! Oh, it's too bad. Uh, okay, Kunin. Maybe I did dub in some sound. I don't know. Maybe I did. I don't know. But Kunin, I think you're going to get beat from a different type of laser drone. Oh, crazy. Crazy. And who would have known? Who who would know who would win in a battle between uh, Drone Sprayer and Yolander here? I don't know, because they're... It looks like the, the these drones are a little faster, maybe? So they were able to catch up to Kunan quicker? And therefore distract Kunan enough so that he couldn't fire his main guns. That's, that's, it's so funny how things can change like that. And he's using his main gun. Stop using your main gun, dude. Fire at the enemy. Oh, it's too bad. Kunan. Oh, no. I'm ha I hate to see you go. Unbelievable. You lander. You're going to win this. You are actually going to win this. Maybe. I don't know. If, if, if Kunan can get a shot in here, if the AI is smart enough to shoot, Oh. <laughs> oh, I think it's over. I think it's over. I think laser drones are beating, but a different kind of a different kind of ship entirely. Different kind of ship, different faction as a matter of fact is going to win this than uh, Camo 5 ship. So absolutely brilliant. You lander, you've won it. You've won it. Okay, so let's go back and check our winners here. Well done to everybody. Whoops. Everybody who was in this competition, well done. I am really impressed. That was a lot of fun. Okay, so Kunan, yeah, that was uh, Kunani. So just, uh, you were second there. Uh, well done. It was a really good try. Okay, and then we had uh, Ulander's Heavy Crowder. Ulander's Heavy Crowder takes the win. Well done. And uh, so this is a, sorry, I'm just going to mark the win here first off, and then we'll go see who it is. Ah, uh, absolutely brilliant. So that was right here. Win, I believe. Yes. Yes. Okay, so who was that? That was... No kidding! Lapis... <laughs> I can never pronounce your name, so I apologize if I totally butcher this. Lapsanow wins the uh, Battle Cruiser competition. Well done, Lapsanow. I am totally impressed. You've come out of nowhere and taken it. Uh, well done. Laser drones, again. Laser drones, but... Uh, you know, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know if we're going to have to adjust things, but I if I mean, I think that was a playable faction. Correct me if I'm wrong, Lapsin out, but that was actually the playable faction um, and their laser drones. I'm pretty sure it was the city builders. But anyway, uh, okay, guys, there is our 
first two sets of competitors all done. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back with the Dreadnoughts. And of course, we're going to try and do the uh, tournament for the Physics Benders today as well. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care.